The decline of Ali began there. Landover, Maryland, April 30, 1976. Overweight, out of shape, he tried to show movement, scored little. Most felt young had won Jimmy Young. And then the decline continued apace and led to this. February 15, 1978, Hilton Pavilion, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Leon Spinks, a bare amateur, really, with only seven fights behind him, wrested the crown from Ali. Yes, his name is Muhammad Ali. The history of a legend who goes at it again tonight. Earlier today, I talked with Muhammad Ali and his suite at the Hilton Hotel here in New Orleans. Let's see Muhammad. Now, here, of course, is Muhammad Ali. Muhammad, on a day like this, the day of what will be your last fight forevermore, do you find yourself thinking back over your whole boxing career, your whole life? I probably will later, but not now. This fight that's coming up in a few hours is more important than all that I've done in the past. For the fact, this is the last one. And I want to go out being the first black man to retire champion and the first man to gain it three times. So, uh, Reminiscing over the past, I don't want to waste energy or even thinking about it. After I whip this man, get my title back, then I'll sit back one day soon and think about the past, look at all my films, and, and look at how good the game's been to myself and how good I've been to it. You sound almost tired, and the fight's at hand. Have no. you debilitated yourself by getting down to the kind of weight you're at in the area of 219? I'm not so tired until you're gonna hear it in my speech. I'm just relaxed, I'm not tired, I'm in top shape. Uh, I'm probably in better shape than I was with the thrill in Manila and George Fullman, although I'm older. I've had a few fights since then, but this is befitting of me to do the impossible. I cannot consider myself the greatest of all times if I can't come back and get this title from the likes of a man like Spinks. I underestimated the first time, this time you'll see the real Ali. I predict this camera to everybody watching this fight, and if I'm not telling the truth, you can play this thing over and show it to the public. Make me look like a fool. I will destroy Spinks. To all of that was Leon Spinks. He just left his position in front of the television set. A young man who's had his troubles. They're a matter of public notice. But he's a young man, and General Wilson, Commandant of the Marines, would tell you this, has great inner decency. And here he comes, Muhammad Ali, the man who has had 55 wins, three losses, 37 knockouts. Please cooperate back here in the aisle. The man who wants to make boxing history tonight to become the first ever to win the heavyweight title for the third time. The man who has tested himself over 7,000 calisthenic exercises. The man who has driven his body to get into not cosmetic shape at 221, but fighting shape. If he'll be able to do it. The opponent, he says, it's easy to hit. He says he will not use the rope dough. He will fight in ring center. He will go after Spinks early. But if he has to, he says he can still survive for 15 rounds. Again, we'll find out about that. In the meantime, what is the young fighter thinking? We know what Ali is thinking. He has been through this kind of crowd crush before. He says, when I leave after this fight, boxing will be a forlorn thing. He is probably right. He has been a giant. So as he goes into that ring, the crush of the crowd around him, but protected by what appears to be, at this moment, adequate security. The young fighter, the fighter who has 
to be equally tense, maybe even more so, has to wonder, was it luck the last time? Was that the real Ali? A man with only eight professional fights, no matter how you slice it, five knockouts over nobodies, a struggle to a draw with Scott Ledoux, coming from behind to win a close decision over Reggetti, and then the astonishing victory over that man, Ali Spinks, has to be doing a lot of thinking. Leon says he has a surprise for Ali. He indicates or implies that he has changed his style. There is Ali, the face in a frown. He has been subdued. He has been sober. There has been little or no clowning. He has been all purpose for this one. And now the struggle goes greater to get to the ring. The walk seems almost interminable. He has this crowd. He knows it. He is the one they want to see. He is the storyline. And he's been a storyline for his whole life. A man in the age of the most traveled statesman of our time, Henry Kissinger, who was perhaps even more traveled, perhaps even better known. That is part of why he is a giant, a positive legend. And he has made it to the ring. And the uproar is definite. Listen.
absolutely endless to the arena itself. The ring is a 20-foot ring. The fighters, of course, will be using eight-ounce gloves. A 20-foot ring, as we noted earlier in the telecast, gives one ample room to maneuver. He is almost at the ring. Ali is quiet. Stoic talking to Bundini and listening to Dundee. No histrionics from Ali. Now, Binks continues up to the ring steps. There he goes, getting helped up now by his body. who proved himself to the whole world. He is hugging Marvin Stinson, a youngster who dreamed of winning an Olympic gold medal but didn't make. There he is, smiling, and I think covering a great sense of nervousness at this moment. At the Superdome, New Orleans, Louisiana, live as this simply amazing scene continues Ladies the and crowd unending in its roars the, the ring honoring, announcer let us stand for the national anthem as sung by one of the greatest of all heavyweight champions joe frazier at Montreal. Michael Spinks is in Leon Spinks's corner as we look at Muhammad Ali. Joe Frazier leaving the ring. Quite frankly, we had expected another scene from Joe Frazier. We thought he was going to go over to Muhammad Ali. Let's hear the ring announcer. Louisiana Sports, Eddie Five, Don Hubbard, Sherman Copeland, Philip Ciasio, and Jake DiMaggio, in cooperation with Top Rank, present a 15-round contest for the championship of the world. The judges for tonight's contest are Ernest Cojo and Herman Dutrex. The referee for tonight's contest is Lucian Jordan. Counting for the knockdowns are Chili Fiore and the time people Lawrence Flurry. Supervisor of ring officials, former great featherweight contender, 
Jimmy Perry. Champ Clark. Bout, That's his name. The, the, the ring announcer. Of the Louisiana State Athletic Commission, headed by Emil Bruno. Secretary Treasurer, Otis Guiche. Vice Chairman, Lindsey Williams. Remember, Number scoring in this one nine will nine be on a rounds basis. Edwin Edwards, as in New York, not on the 10-point must Arthur scoring Biden, system. Round basis. Stevenson, Champ Clark. And Hess Curry presenting the challenger of tonight's bout, the former two-time great champion from Louisville, Kentucky, in White Cross, weighing in at 221, Muhammad Ali, the greatest. Notice, no expression from Muhammad Ali. From St. Louis, Missouri. No clowning, all business. Dressed in scarlet and gold, the heavyweight champion of the world, Leon Speak. As he takes off his robe, you'll see what I mean by tempered steel. That's his brother Michael Spinks behind him. Again, the scene in the huge Superdome. 70,000 people. A $5 million gate. is hugged by his brother Michael. That was a landmark in Montreal, the two of them sticking together. At the Muhammad Ali, Bundini in front of him, quiet in his corner, taking the whole scene in. Oh, clowning. A final word with Angelo Dundee. Encouragement from the man who's been with him, who trained him, who taught him. Leon Spinks is in prayer. When do you remember Ali like that before a fight? It has built up, I think, to everything that the crowd expected by way of pre-fight tension and anticipation, and the crowd manifests that fact. a problem in Leon Spinks's corner. I can't figure it out. So far, no evidence of a brown bottle. And we'll stay on top of that for you. Now they meet in ring center. The referee, remember, Lucien Joubert. The judges, Ernest Kojo, Herman Dutre. Great knockdown rule is way. Pursuing. Ali, the bigger man, 
with the longer reach. But will he try to mix it up? Spinks at some point in ring center. Ali with two quick flicking lifts that missed. Ali missing again. That's been a significant mark of Ali during his decline. The absence of timing in his punches. He is not giving away the round the way he did in the prior fight. As the two clinch, and Ali is willing to maul with him and muscle with him. <laughs> Spinks missing with the left, trying to get inside. Spinks a brawl, an alley fighter. And a minute to go. The crowd much more excited than the action has been exciting. Spinks keeps coming at Ali. Gets him against the ropes. Spinks, a wild man. The referee finally gets between them. Spinks laughing, looking at the referee. As if derisive, perhaps. Counting down to the end of round one. And the younger man is mauling the older man. Not skillfully, but mauling him. We're counting down to the end of the first round. The second round just underway. The first round. Spinks the aggressor, mauling. Sam Solomon told Spinks he's trying to gouge you. Ali fighting from memory. Ali now against the ropes, where he told me he would not be. Ali, telltale sign, missing with his punches in the first round. But still, far too early to tell. Far too early. 30 seconds into round two. But Spinks keeps coming. Ali on his toes, dancing. But he must not just dance, he must be able to score. Right there, he tried to go, punching down, but not effectively at all. Sphinx is convinced that Ali cannot hurt him. So he keeps coming and coming. One minute gone in this, the second round. Slipping punches there, but where is his left jab? He punches downward, futilely with the right. There's the left jab, but with no sting. That's the blow he's got to use to keep Spinks off him. He is oh so easy to hit, all he said before the fight. But so far, he has not really hit him. And there is Spinks falling, swinging him around. Spinks at 201, Ali at 221. And Spinks with a smile again, saying, come on. The flicking left into Spinks' face. That's there for the first time. Ali with a couple of lefts and a right in combination. For the first time, round two, less than a minute to go. Punching downward like that. Ali has been futile. Spinks has been effective in that bar and in ducking, putting the head down. 40 seconds left in the second round.
Sphinx said he would bob and weave in this fight, thus diminishing the easy target he has been in the past. There Ali scored with a left and a right. In the second half of this round, Ali has begun to put some punches together. 15 seconds left as you're counting down in the second round. Clearly an improved round for Ali. From the overhead shot, the start of round three, Ali up and dancing on his feet. From 20 seconds before the start of the round on, Ali, who started to put punches together in the second half of round two. No rope a dope, no giving away the round. Ali on most scorecards at ringside won the second round. That's unofficial, of course. Unofficial scorecards at ringside. Now Ali seeking to call upon all his guile, all his experience. The youngster seeking to go after him. Feeling that Ali cannot hurt him. Missing as again. Look how he goes down. Sphinx. How he crouches. And Ali hits over him. Sphinx has been effective with that crouch in a defensive sense. But in a defensive sense. Ali trying there with a combination. This is third round action. Spinks trying to level Ali against the ropes. Scored with one of those blows. in evidence. Ali using the left more and more. Again, the clinch. This hasn't been the most skilled fight you've ever seen. This is not the old Ali, but how could it be? He is 36, and he misses so often, but he's also scoring more. And so far, Spinks has not been able to connect. Ali using the left partly to keep him off, and Ali slipping punches just out of range, dancing. Three rounds in a row on his toes. And then, after throwing combination with you, Sly, about the intensity. But however calculated the punches may be, they are not connecting that often or effectively. Round four. Ali against Leon Spinks. Leon Spinks, basically wild and uncontrolled, but more controlled than I've ever seen him before bobbing and weaving, as he suggested he might do, using a crouch. Ali sometimes having the punch down there. Ali, staying on his toes, says he's conditioned himself to fight. Not just lost weight, but is ready to fight 15 rounds. Sphinx after Ali against the ropes. Ali clinching and getting away from the ropes. More difference in strategy in these early rounds. It must be stressed. Spinks missing with that right. If Ali were really sharp with his combinations and with his left, heaven knows what he might be doing. down is not effective halfway 
through the fourth round. The intensity, as Sly Stallone put it, remains. But now, Spinks after Ali. Spinks connecting. Spinks scoring with the right. And with Ali's back to us, it may be that he hurt Ali. It is hard to tell. The great aggressor all over Ali. And Ali appears perfectly composed. However, he's in the corner against the ropes where he doesn't want to be. And it is Sphinx who is setting the tone for the fight. Clearly, at this point, live from the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. the right that's scored by Ali. We are coming to the end of round four. And that one flurry by Spinks there, two lefts. This round, Spinks has begun to get to Ali. Ali has not been able to slip the punches as he did in the prior rounds. The end of the round coming up. The fifth round underway. Dundee told Ali between rounds, you've won three rounds so far, keep it up. You're setting them up right. Maybe he is, but clearly in the fourth round, Sphinx started to come on. Now in the fifth round, let's see if Ali can sustain in the sense of slipping Spinks' punches and can start to put his combinations together even more. In my opinion, the great excitement has been the crowd more than the quality of the bout. Subjective opinion. We're almost a minute into round five, and Ali keeping Spinks at bay with the flicking left which half the time has not been hitting. You saw Ali miss with the left. Spinks on the inside, connected with the left. A minute, 10 seconds gone in round five.
Spinks always pursuing. And Ali flicking the left. Remember, Ali with the right lead is extremely effective. Always has been. But it's a dangerous punch. Ali's ability to take a punch, part of his legend as a fighter. How he drew upon every last resource in Manila against Joe Frazier. Apparently done in at the end of round 10. He came back big. Spinks is wildly pursuing Ali. He's not doing it with any evidence of boxing skill. Just pursuing a tough kid. Doesn't know how to stop. Ali with a good right. Ali dancing. Ali with a good left and dancing away. Spinks pursuing, but puzzled, not scoring. It's a tactical fight by Muhammad Ali up to this point, not by Leon Spinks, who has never been called a tactical fighter. Ali with the two quick left jabs, a third, a fourth, dancing, fifth, sixth, seventh, scoring with the left. Spinks finally with a left. Spinks wildly. seconds and you see it in the lower right hand corner counting down Ali clinching with the younger man back live for round seven the deafening din continues Ali against Spinks Ali quickly with a couple of lefts Ali with two flicking lefts that land only glancingly, but they do land, and presumably they score. Spinks trying to get in, trying to score. But Ali, with all of his years of experience, apparently in far better condition than in his last fight against Spinks, using that experience, relying upon it. in that crouch and Ali punching downward again two flicking left jabs one minute into the seventh round Binks trying desperately to connect to hurt the former champion Spinks with a good right the upper shoulder and as he had Ali against the ropes. The one place Ali doesn't want to be against those ropes. This is not George Foreman. This is not 1974. This, says Ali, is no time for the rope to Spinks with a left that landed. The right did not. Seventh round action. Got picked off by Spinks's glove. A minute to go in the seventh round. Good flurry of combinations by Ali, setting the kid up for them. A good flurry of combinations by Muhammad Ali. seconds left in round seven and Ali is still on his toes you can see him bouncing moving part of Spinks's problem a right by Spinks glanced along Ali's chin the left side of his chin 
to see the count down to the end of round seven for Kenny Norton last June in Las Vegas. Ali is outboxing Spinks using his movement, his wisdom, his experience. But it's only the eighth round. When Spinks goes into that crouch, do well to punch upward with the uppercut rather than down if he can. The eighth round. Spinks missed with his left. Ali connected with his counter left. 45 seconds into round eight. Round eight. Down, Ali has 
trouble. We'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round, we'll take a station break. Again, you saw Ali miss punching down. Ninth round action. 35 seconds left. Ali with a quick combination, another left. a bit in this round. Spinks scoring to the right. Now there's a little more movement, but there he is, flat-footed again, and using the left effectively. The end of the round. Well, and more champions. The commission checked the contents of the brown bottle in Leon Spinks's corner. Apparently found nothing undue. Tenth round action. In command of the fight. Boxing like that with the quick combinations. Scoring repeatedly. Ferdy Pacheco, Ali's former doctor, sitting behind me, saying to me between rounds, I didn't believe that he could still come up with this kind of effort. So far, he has. It's been the hallmark of his career. Even a little bit of a shuffle. That shows you how he feels. He's in command of this fight. He reverts back to the shuffle. seems to be up to this point in the process of doing it. You see the count. This is round 10. Scheduled 15 rounder. On his toes again. Unlike round 9. Changing his pace. Shifting his tack. Using the years, the know-how. Look at that left getting in there. Spinks in the crouch. Spinks wildly mauling and clinching, but not scoring. Ali, so purposeful, so sure of himself. What an extraordinary career. What an extraordinary man he has been. Tenth round. No evidence of fatigue. As this round ends, we're going to go to Leon Spinks's corner and see what, if anything, Sam Solomon can tell him. Spinks is tired. Ali is there with the combinations. And the pattern is now clear. This fight has taken form. Okay, the end of round 10. The crowd unendingly on its feet. Look at that ball. And now, let's look at Leon Spinks. Let's see if we can hear it. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself, Leon. You gotta push yourself now, okay? You gotta push, you gotta push. The guy ain't even there. Life has had the movement. Not 
recently, not against Young, not against Shavers, not against Evangelista, and not against Sphinx the last time. But this time, yes, he hit Sphinx with a good right there. Eleventh round action. Sphinx, look at Ali. That's Ali. The right had connected, and he played a little bit of possum, like the old Ali. I'm not telling you he is nearly as good as he was, nor would he, three, four years ago. But he is doing what he has to do against this opponent. Now Spinks is trying to strike back. It is the 11th round, and Spinks has a long way to go, according to most of the scoring here at ringside, unofficial scoring.
to a point where for Spinks to win, he would have to win by a knockout. Thus, use that left. Keep him away. Score the points. Ali using all of the years, as I have said. Yet note the doubt in the fighter's own mind. Am I winning? As many years as he's been in the ring. Look at that with the left. Spence became the aggressor in the last round, the wildly so. Now, Ali is in charge of the pace again. Measuring the opponent, scoring with his combination. See that? Sometimes he misses, like there, and then he connects. And the inexperienced Sphinx struggling to get through. But he is not fighting in the Olympics. And he is not fighting Scott Ledoux. He is fighting the man that he astonishingly upset. Ali scoring repeatedly there with the combinations as the crowd goes wild. Exercise that degree of 
caution that will prevent any accident by way of a knockout to him. That's all that he has to be concerned about now. Remember the history piece of Muhammad Ali. What a career. And now, as this fight nears its end, one has the feeling that Bob Dylan struck the proper note and his great song, Forever Young. May your hands be always busy. May your feet be always swift. May you lay a strong foundation when the winds of changes shift. And every time the winds of changes have shifted in the life of Muhammad Ali, he has found a way to come back to triumph. That's the mark of the man. 14th round action. Ali tying him up again. Ali, the wise fighter. 
Ali, one of the great fighters, certainly, we have ever seen. The fight is over. They keep fighting, but it's over. There is a wild surge to the ring. Lloyd Wells just fell on the apron next to us. Ali is on the ground. They are pouring in on Ali. It is a bad situation. The police are now surrounding the ring. They're trying to protect people, and it is almost impossible. I am going to try to go into the ring. It may not be possible. Here is Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a mess here at ringside. Ali Rooters are beside themselves, and happily so. A full-fledged heavyweight, which he's always been, and to punctuate what you just saw, Muhammad Ali has always had one physical advantage, regardless of who he fought, and that is an advantage in the reach department. 80 inches. Tonight, Spinks with 76-inch reach. Spinks never had a chance. He was so confused and so befuddled against the former heavyweight champion, and if our unofficial scorecards here at ringside are anywhere near accurate, I would think that Muhammad Ali will have won back the heavyweight championship for the third time. 11 years older than Spinks, 20 pounds heavier. And if there was ever a boxing lesson given to an inexperienced, confused heavyweight who weighed 201 pounds, you have just seen it. There were no knockdowns if you just joined us. Neither fighter marked. And of course, that's been a trademark of Muhammad Ali. Got the cleanest face of anyone that's had the great number of fights that he has had. The prophet, the poet, the preacher, pontificator, pugilist, now waving to his fans. Giving some, saying the greatest of all time, and how can you say he isn't? The creator of an age. Here's a man that's kind to his family, kind to rich and poor, and youngsters who are ill especially. 36 years of age. It's the sixth time that he's had to go 15 rounds in title defenses or trying to get it back, as we assume he will. However, we have Louisiana judges. Lucien Joubert was the referee. Herman Dutre was the judge. Ernest Cajo was the other judge. Under Louisiana rules, two judges and a referee, it's by the round system. You either win or lose it, or a round could be even. We're awaiting the decision. The commissioner of the Louisiana State Athletic Commission, Emil Bruneau, is checking cards now. As right. this corner directly above us is... This is about as bad a situation as I have ever encountered in any ring. The scene should speak for itself. It is pure bedlam. Pat Patterson is here with me. Long time God, Raleigh. Let me speak here. Mohammed. Mohammed. The ring must be cleared. To talk. The ring must be cleared. Each All right, fighter Muhammad. is allowed three seconds. Each fighter is allowed. One second. All right. I'm trying to talk to Muhammad Ali. Give me your view of that fight. You fought it about as you wanted to, didn't you? Well, I got in top shape. I realized I found out. Here's Leon now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Leon Spinks. This is an absolutely impossible scene. I believe that my mic has gone out, and there is absolutely no way. Howard, keep talking. We hear if I am still alive on mic, and I don't think so, the mic cord has been cut. Muhammad, congratulations. He's a great fighter. I had to be in good shape for him. He was in my last one. You were in incredible shape, and I compliment you for it. Just unbelievable. And as I said, you made your whole fight plan stand up. Now, you stick by your word. You're going to retire, right? I don't know yet. I'm going to think about it. I'm going, I don't have to talk no more. I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Congratulations. And so it is here at ringside. Assuming that I am still on mic, as Muhammad Ali is taken away by his group, and Leon Spinks 
in the most gentlemanly manner possible congratulated it's been as extraordinary an evening as I've ever encountered the wildest scene I have ever witnessed and on balance one of the most exceptional fights I have ever seen waged admitting that Leon Spinks is young and not a great fighter Ali proved equal to the occasion and he fought his fight he fought it his way is the first ever to have won the crown three times he remains I suppose forever young over to Chris Schenker all right still in the ring now we're waiting the decision for the two judges of the referee should be forthcoming any moment and the cornerman for Muhammad Ali drew Bandini Brown just beside themselves here I didn't think they thought he could do it but he proved to them that he could with that hard work that he talked about of course highlights of this bout will be seen on ABC's wide world of sports tomorrow right now let's get that decision Uh, Your attention, please. And here is Champ Clark. Your attention, please. Referee Lucian Joe Bat scores. Ten Ali, one Eva, four Spink. <laughs> Judge, Judge Holman du Herman Dutrak scores. 11 Ali. Good. Ernest Kojo scores. 10 Ali. 1 even. Cross Pink. The new champion. You have it, Ali. You have it, Ali. The new there you have it. A unanimous decision for Muhammad Ali. His 59th professional bout over a span of 18 years. His 24th title defense. Joe Lewis, who we hope watching and feeling better, Las Vegas at 27. 25 title appearances. And Muhammad again proves that the body can do it and that you can refute the old axiom in the heavyweight division that they never come back. But Ali has proved it once more. A unanimous decision by the judge and the referee.